went immediately wet to tears after hearing her mom's voice. Miss Mom, she were looking at her. I want to talk to you about something very important. Okay, I'll come up from washroom. She immediately went inside washroom. Her mom sat and sat on bed. When washed her face and came out of washroom. Come here. When went to her bed and sat beside her mom. Miss Mom, her mom stared at her. She hid. She was crying a while ago. Did the hell and you fought? No, mom. It's nothing like that. She flashed a fake smile. I heard everything. When bit her lower lip and looked down. When mom sighed and cupped her cheek. Did he hurt you too much? Did he? When shook her head. And you? Why did you hurt him like that? When girl and her heart clenched. I'm I'm sorry, mom. I was stupid. Her voice cracked and tears started falling. She was truly guilty. Her mom pulled her in embarrass and kissed her back. Don't cry. I don't know what I should do, mom. I love him so much. I know I did very wrong, but I try to get his forgiveness. I try a lot, but he's not ready to forgive me. He didn't even give me chance to explain. She sobbed and her mom patted her back. It's okay. Don't think about that for now. Let your mind calm down and then think properly. Think what you want. You both are at fault. You did something wrong. We changed him and he was he- hesitating in trusting you again. So let your mind calm down and think properly. Then sigh loudly and pushed his hair back. Should I forget past? His heart glazed while remembering about the day when a lot of students were making fun of him and laughing on him. He took deep breath and tried to avoid those memories. He looked up and his gaze went on terrace. When was standing there and looking towards him, he stared hard and she too didn't avoid his gaze. He looked away from her. When bite her lower lip, when the young looked away, she sat and sat down on floor. Take some more rice. Then immediately covered his plate. No one for. He took a glance of wine who was eating quietly. Is something wrong between you both? You both are giving cold wine. Yeah, you both are newly married. You should be too much romantic, but here you seem very distant. It's nothing like that, Oni. Right, the young? He flashed a fake smile and nodded his head when mom took a glance of them. Hmm, why you didn't went on honeymoon? Work load. Still, you should take out time for your relationship. Work will happen later, but this time will never come back again. Yeah. He took a glance of wine again. She was eating quietly. Wine was lying on bed on her stomach when she heard a door knock. She hummed and someone came in the side bedroom. Um, I'm leaving. She didn't say anything nor spare him any glance. He sat and just left. It was the first time when he informed her before leaving. When he left, she sat on bed and sighed loudly. She got up from bed and went to a window. She stand there and looked out. She saw the young living. Then came home late after work and he felt his house so empty. When was no more walking around him and trying to talk to him. He sat on couch and sighed loudly. He said, so I came with water for him. Should I serve your dinner? Then shook his head. You can go to sleep. Mrs. Choi bowed and left, then closed his eyes and he fell asleep there. Mr. Kim, she shook the hand slightly and he woke up. Huh? What happened? It's morning. He looked around and left a sigh. Hmm. He got up from couch and headed upstairs. Hope everything get well between them. Tim was getting ready for office and he was not able to find his watch. He was getting frustrated. He pushed his hair back. He took his stuff and left without wearing his watch. When he was lying on bed and she was reading her old diary. It was the diary of the time when she was in 
relationship with the hyung she read a paragraph in which she wrote about the hyung his good behavior and about his shy and sweet nature a smile appeared on her face while reading that and remembering about that beautiful time when both were together she took a deep breath and turned another page and on mean time someone knocked on door when closed her diary and slide that under her pillow and went to open door honey i was cleaning guest room and found this watch don't forget it here she extend watch and went took that thank you honey i'll give him jo he flashed her smile and went away went to the door and sat looking at watch it was the young's favorite watch he has a huge collection of watch but he mostly wear this one then was busy in work when someone knocked on door he gave permission and the person came inside he didn't spare any glance to the person and he was busy in reading a document mr kim when ma'am sent your watch then looked at him after hearing voice and found a card from one's parents house he nodded his head and took up the watch from that card thank you i'll take my leave then nodded his head and that card bowed and left then stared at the watch and a deep sigh left his mouth while remembering about the time when she came with his watch and he mistreated her did i cross limits he leaned his head on his chair and closed his eyes he was too much excited he couldn't sleep from that night when he kicked out wine from car and she got chased by those men when he was sitting on rooftop and she was staring sky it was already midnight and she was not able to sleep her phone ring and she frown after seeing caller id i see it's calling me this hour she answered the call one side widened and her hand went on her mouth is he fine um i'm coming take care of him till she hung up the call and ran downstairs how is the hill he's resting luckily he didn't got too much injured why not he ran upstairs she took a deep breath to calm down her thumping heart and knocked on door she didn't got any response so she thought to just go inside bedroom she pushed door and stepped inside and her keys went on bed where thing was lying and his body had some bandages she cut the lump which formed in her throat and she went to a bed with tiny steps she pulled a stool and sat beside bed and stared at him he was sleeping she lifted her hand and moved to it to touch his forehead wound but he opened his eyes and her hand stopped in air he stared at her and she bit her lower lip and pulled her hand back sorry i didn't mean to come here like this mr choi said you met an accident and i couldn't hold myself from coming here she cleared her side and he didn't say anything and just stared at her her eyes were teary and she was looking too much worried sorry for disturbing you i'll go she got up to leave but he held her hand she looked at him with her questioning gaze can you stay here she didn't say anything and just stared at him please she took a breath in her lower lip and nodded her head slightly he smiled slightly which raised her heartbeat she saw that smile after so long she took a deep breath and sat back on stool how this happened i was lost in thoughts and hit a parked car you should focus on road while driving mm, i do focus but my mind was going on you time to time i'm not able to forget what happened that night he hesitantly spoke and she looked away from him i'm sorry please i was out of my mind you know your scram is still echoing in my mind and i have lost my peace completely please forgive me or as i'll get crazy by thinking about that um I'm, i'm not able to sleep see see your hand he was genuinely feeling guilty and it was visible on his face 
I, I promise, I'll never do that mistake again, no matter what. He tried to get up, but she stopped him. Don't move. You will get hurt. He didn't move after that and just stared her while waiting for her response. Um, I, that night was horrible. Her voice cracked and his heart clenched. He felt more guilty. I'm sorry. One looked away from him while wiping her tears. Hmm, did you forgive me? One nodded her head slightly without looking at him. Thank you. You will sleep now. It's too much late. She got up from stool. Where are you going? In guest room. Can you sleep here? No, I'll disturb you, which I don't want. So I'll just stay in guest room. Call me if you need any help. Good night. She headed out of bedroom and he sighed loudly. Oops, she really forgive me. He was still not ready to forget what happened in past, but still, he wanted to get one's forgiveness anyhow. He never thought he can become reason of something like that. Luckily, he reached on time, but what if he couldn't? This thought were eating him from the inside and snatching his peace. Good morning. When I looked at him in slight shock, he never replied her good morning and good night, but today he was wishing her. Mm, she just hummed and went to take his clothes. Get up carefully. He nodded and she hold his shoulder and start helping him. Her face was very close to him. He stared her face and his heartbeat raised. Put your feet carefully on floor. Her voice brought him back in sense and he looked away from her while humming. She helped him in getting up and guided him to a washroom. Then sat down on chair which Wayne had already placed in washroom. She started removing his clothes to clean him and his whole face turned red, which I noticed clearly. If she had seen this before in these two months of their marriage, then she must have laughed or giggled to tease him. But now things were different and awkward. She just looked away from him while clearing her throat. I'll get wet towel. He just hummed. She brought a wet towel and started wiping his body. She cleaned him and made him wear clothes. Thank you. He didn't reply and covered him with blanket. I'll go now. He wanted to stop her but couldn't and she left. Things I stared the wall. She was giving cold wine now which was bothering him a lot. He wasn't liking her this behavior. Take this to him. She gave food tray to Mrs. Joy. Mm, you should take this to him. You take this. I have some work. Mrs. Joy nodded and went out of kitchen. When Sai and Zito went out. Where is wine? She is in kitchen. Then bite his lower lip and nodded his head. Mrs. Joy gave food tray on night stand. Do you need anything else? My hand are injured. Send wine. I can't eat by myself. Mrs. Chuan nodded and went out. When was going to a guest room, when doorbell rang, she went to check who came. Mom, Dad, how is the young? And why you didn't inform us about it last night? Mom, he's fine, and I didn't wanted you both to scare too much, so I didn't inform you last night. Wayne spoke while lowering her head. Mrs. Kim sighed and headed upstairs. How this happened? He hit a parked car. Mr. Kim nodded and he too headed upstairs and Wayne went to make coffee for them. Mr. Kim called you. He said he can't eat by himself. Mom will feed him and you take water for them. Mrs. Choi nodded and went to do what Wayne said. Then was waiting for Wayne to come and feed him. Bedroom's door got open and he thought it's wine, but it was his mom. It flashed a smile. Hey mom, where were your mind when you were driving? See what you did with yourself. Your tears were falling continuously. Don't cry, I'm fine. It's just small injuries. Yeah, small injuries. You have multiple bandages, but still it's small injuries. 
She spoke between her so when he sighed. He, his dad took him inside. But doctor said, I'm fine. I got slightly injured. Mr. Kim nodded his head and Mrs. Kim's kiss went on food. You didn't have breakfast yet? Mm, yeah. Mm, let me feed you. Tim nodded his head and took a glance of two. He was waiting for wine to come, which didn't happen. Everything is good between you both, right? That night you both left from party without informing. Yeah, everything is fine between us and I twisted my feet while dancing so the thing brought me back. Mm, I'm glad to know he's taking care of you. When Vita smiled and nodded her head. You should leave now. I'll stay here till the young get well. Uh, if I'll go, my mind will be stuck here and I won't be able to relax. Okay, you stay here. I'm leaving. I need to check. Office too. Mrs. Kim noted and Mr. Kim left. When was preparing dinner when Mrs. Kim came in kitchen? Do you need any help? Why? No, ma'am. Everything is almost done. She put Tang's food in tray. Mm, can you take this to Thayo? You should do this by yourself. I'll do work here. No, I'll do it. You feed him. Mrs. Kim find wine's behavior a bit odd. She noted and took food tray. Okay, I'll take. Mm, get up. She start helping Thayo in getting up. Mm, why? She's in the kitchen. Mrs. Kim sat on stool and took food tray. Did you both fight? I noticed all the wine avoid coming in the bedroom. Then bite his lower lip and nodded his head. I did something in anger which I shouldn't have done. This is why I told you to control your anger. How good boy you were before but now see what you became. I shouldn't have let you go away from me. She sighed slightly and the young didn't say anything. Did you say her sorry? He nodded his head. Hmm, it's not something used for couples to get into fight, but try to solve it soon. Hey, you're washing this cell now? Hmm, yeah, I thought to clean it. She was keeping herself busy in work so Mrs. Kim will go to sleep and then she can go in guest room. She didn't want to let Mrs. Kim know she is staying in separate room. Mrs. Choi will do it. You go to rest now. I'm saying you are busy in work all day. I'll go after cleaning it. You go to rest. Mrs. Kim shook her head immediately. Wash your hand and go to sleep. She sounded like ordering when I nodded her head. Okay. When came in bedroom and saw Thing was still awake, she quietly went to get dressed and things are he didn't want it to admit but he was happy after seeing her back in bedroom. She got dressed and applied some skin care while Thing was waiting for her to come on bed but she took a pillow and went to a couch. Why are you sleeping on a couch? You will get back pain. Come here on bed. I turned her head towards him and stared him. I'm glad to see you caring about me even though you hate me but don't worry I'll be Okay here. She flashed all his smile and covered herself with blanket and he stared her. You said you've forgiven me. She pulled down blanket after hearing that. I really did. I understood it was my fault. Who made you angry and in anger you left me on the street. So don't think too much and sleep. Good night. If you really forgiven me, then why are you avoiding me? I'm not avoiding you. I'm just fulfilling your wish. You don't want me around you, so I'm staying away. I don't want to irritate you more and make you more angry. She flashed a little smile and turned her head in other direction. Ting San closed his eyes to sleep but he was not able to sleep.